Hello folks, uh, Ed Overstreet, and I'm back with a, uh, it's really not an update to the new uh, Spectro photometric calibration, but uh, if you're interested in going back and looking at uh, data that uh, dates the new weighted batch processing script and you're wanting to use the new color, gra color calibration tool, then there's a possibility you're not going to have the um, spectro spectrometry. I can't say that word. What it is is the RA deck focal length uh, image scale and uh, the date you took the image, the time you took the image, so that it can plate solve. Uh, spectrometry, spectrometry, whatever. So if that happens, then uh, this is what you can do, and I'll go through an, uh, an example just using some of my older data. So uh, let's head over to Fix Insight and, and get the show on the road. working on some uh, some of the uh, data that I used for the first uh, video on um, uh, spectro, uh, spectro photometric calibra calibration and uh, I don't want to delete it because I'm continuing to work on it so I'm just going to open up uh, uh, an image file that I took get that drive up 2022 go to January and uh, NGC 2238 is a good one. Uh, all of these older, uh, back in January, the new weighted batch processing script didn't write the RA, all that information to it, uh, a lot of those files. So I don't think it's in there. But let's just go to uh, the master file and pull up... Uh, this is my, uh, this was taken with a one shot color camera, and I think it's the ASI 533 camera, a 360 second image. So we're going to find out real quick. If not, I'll pull up another image. I'll find one though that doesn't have it. And um, let's stretch it, make sure it's the rosette. It is. Uh, let's go to File, Fits Header. Oh. Uh, it may have RA and DEC in it. If it is, it should be up here. No. It's got the focal length. It's got the... Uh, image scale, 3.76. i got to remember that. It's even got the bare metrics. Huh. Let me go down. Okay. It's not going to be in this. This is a point spread function info. This is a history of uh, what went in on in this file. Okay, so this does not have it. So if I tried to run the, uh, I've saved, I've made an icon by the way, uh, because I plan on running the, uh, uh, Photometric calibration tool. Where did I put it? Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, I've made it. Uh, I made one for uh, one shot color camera and one for narrow band using my uh, narrow band filters. And that'll pretty much cover uh, that'll pretty much cover my cameras that I'm currently using. I do have an Attic uh, CCD camera with the Kodak sensor but I hardly ever use that anymore. So that being said, uh, if I tried to run this, I would get a fail because there is no, there's no uh, enough data, no RA deck data, start time and all of that so that it can um, uh, go out and plate solve. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to script and 
we're going to no, we're going yeah script image analysis and image solver and open that so um, what I'm going to need now to do is set this up I want to search for the rosette which was I already forgot is it LDN eh, I gotta go look it up let me uh, shut this down I forgot what it was tell them prepared uh, thought this would be a fast oh heck gotta go back all the way January we're looking for The Rosette NGC 2238. Okay. All right, back to... Now, I have Image Solver somewhere over here. Here it is. And I'm going to open it. And you have to open it in the global... Execute in the global context to get it to open. Um, and I'm going to search... I've already forgot it. NGC 22... I've already forgot the darn thing. Ah, that's not it. Let's go back. File, cancel, file, I better write it down. I am so not good at doing this, obviously. Uh, Rosette, it's just, Lisa's taking me right back there. Oh, widen up. NGC 2238, I guess I had it right. Back to Image Solver. Uh Global context. That's what happens if you don't. All right. Search. NGC 2238. And then we're going to uh, search. And it's found it. Uh, picking that. Okay. So it's populated RA and DEC. Uh, it's got the time. It was this year on the 25th. I think that's right. Uh, the hour was, it, I know it wasn't 140, uh, it could have been, but I, I, I usually don't start things that late at, or that early in the morning, but uh, it should be close enough. And it's got the longitude, latitude, and all right, so we've got the information we want. We have the focal length. And my pixel scale, that was in the fits file. And so what I'm going to choose is the online star catalog. I do have the APAS, APAS catalog uh, saved uh, because I do I did use that with the older photometric calibration. But that's what I want, and I'm gonna I'm gonna check the active window because it's gonna solve for the active window, which is this file. And that's it. So click OK. And it's going to take a second. And I'm going to wait for it. Shouldn't take too long. And I, in case you're going to be using this new script, this new Watch it plate solve. I love what it does. It's going through here, looking at different parts of the image, taking stars and uh, identifying them. And... Isn't that cool? Anyway, if you're going to go back and reprocess older uh, data sets and you want to use this new script, if you have, um, if you check your FITS header, if it doesn't have the RA deck, if you don't have the right information for it to plate solve, then you'll have to uh, run the image solver. And you might as well just go ahead and save it as a, uh, uh, get, the, get the settings all set up, and then all you have to do is populate the focal length of your rig, the, the image scale, and then search the target and then run OK on the active window, and that's all you have to do. So, it's uh, finishing up. And it did. So, now we've done this, then we can bring up our one-shot color 
I've got this OSC uh, spectro calibration. That's what I call it. And uh, I don't have to change anything because I have it set up. Uh, I also, the default is 1.25. I moved the growth, growth factor to 2 because I saw two templates in the documentation. Both of those were set to 2. And I just copied those settings. And it's been working fine. Uh, the catalog has to be the DR3 SP catalog. And if you watch the prior video, you'll see how to install that. And so let's run it. Just drag, drag and drop. And it will color calibrate it because now it has the RA and DEC information. What I should have done before I did this was show you the FITS file. And when it's done uh, solving, how quick that was. That is so cool. That looks That pattern looks an awful lot like the pattern of my uh, ASI-183 camera. Okay, isn't that crazy? Uh, so let's delete that. Let's, um, so it has been color calibrated. And uh, let's go over here to the FITS file, FITS header. And that should be in here. Here we go, We've got RA and DEC. So it did populate that image solver added that information so uh, bingo and folks that's all you do if you're going to go work on older stuff and you're interested in uh, using the new color calibration script i think i did three videos today that's enough for me uh, but at any rate i hope everybody has a terrific uh, thanksgiving plenty to eat plenty to share with others and uh, and some clear skies to uh, to do some up imaging with. Catch you later.